first of all, for all those who saw the previous video, I feel a little better. I haven't cried for a couple of days and and we got a little uh, work done f school wise, so I feel a little better. Um I also decided to make the videos a little shorter so they're easier to watch. And so today I, I'm going to talk about one thing and that's medicine and treatments. Right now I'm taking Eratrol, which I don't know how you call it in English, but and, um, and vitamin B12 and vitamin D and magnesium and iron and a couple other things. And also I go to shiatsu and acupuncture and watsu, which is in the water, and a massage in my fibro gym. So, and another class for Qigong, so it kind of fills out my week. And I got a few um, suggestions from friends, mostly in Israel, about medicine and different things that they want to suggest so that I feel better. And I really appreciate it, but you can't always try everything. At the moment, I feel saturated with treatments and medicine and I want to try and get out of this with, you know, exercising and eating right. So I need, so I wanted to explain why you can't always try everything. It's, say you do try and somebody helps, you have no idea of knowing what helped. Um, I already am not sure what's going to help, I mean, if I feel better. I didn't know last time that I felt that I got better. Um, so I don't know if I'll know this time, but it's also a lot of, you know, it takes energy or emotional energy to get to start a new treatment, to start a new treatment with a new therapist. It's just, it's demanding. And right now I don't have the strength to try something new, so I hope the people who try to suggest things and maybe I didn't, I said no thank you, I hope they're not offended. Um, it's just too much sometimes. You can't try everything and most of this, a lot of the medicine like Cymbalta has a lot of side effects that really made me feel bad so I stopped. And right now I don't want to try anything new. Um, I probably will in the future, but it just needs to happen on my schedule when it's right for me because otherwise it's just too much. So that's what I wanted to say about medicine, I guess, that you have to be patient with us fibro girls because even when we feel bad, it's not, you're not always at the point where you want to try everything. And also I wanted to thank Tomer again for writing more for my blog. He wrote about the questions that come up in our lives and come up for him and for we talk about together as, as a couple. So thank you and I hope you go read that. Do you hear that? It's an alarm. It's actually a drill. We're doing a, a countrywide drill see how ready we are for another attack. Cats are freaking out. And I hope you have a pain-free weekend and I hope to see you next time. Bye. To say